The following technical support video will talk about how to use the step and repeat feature in Multirip. Step and repeat allows us to take multiple graphics of different sizes, build them together into one template or signature in the RIP, and then send all of it out at once. To begin this process, what we're going to do is we're going to take three different graphics we have set up in our software program. These graphics come from Great Dane Graphics Digital Photo Frames. The first graphic we have is a t-shirt graphic. It's 13 by 16 inches. To the right of that, we have a mug graphic that is 9 inches by 3 and a half inches. And I have a mouse pad graphic that is 9.75 by 8.25 inches. What we first thing we need to do is we need to set up the template or the signatures. To do that, we're going to bring up the RIP interface, go up to Utilities, down in Positions, and we want to go over to Edit Signatures. For this example, I'm going to be running an Epson 7800 printer. On the right-hand side, you will see all of the different signatures or templates that we have set up. To give you an example, I'll click on the 24 by 36. By double-clicking it, you'll see that it automatically pulls in. Each one of these boxes is a different template or series. Unfortunately, there's not a template in here already set up for the current job that I have. So I'm actually going to go up to the top, click File, and go down to Create New Signature. I'm going to call this signature the 7800 Shirt Mug Mousepad. The size of this is going to be 24 inches by 17 inches. And I can put in here a description of whatever this is. In this case, it's going to be the Epson 7800 for a t-shirt, 13 by 16, a mug, 9 by 3.5, and a mouse pad, 9.75 by 8.25. You can put whatever you like in this box. You don't have to do this detailed. Go ahead and click OK. This gray box that is now shown up is the size of our signature template. Up in the type right hand corner you'll see that it's 24 by 17. Now what we need to do is we need to develop each of the individual pages inside this template. In the bottom right hand corner you'll notice that there are several pre-set up templates. But the templates that I need are not here. So I need to set up my own pages. So we'll go up to the top of this window, click on Page, and go down to Create New. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do a t-shirt. And I prefer to put the sizes in, so the next time I go, I have the right one already right there for me. The t-shirt is going to be 13 by 16. You can put in a description again if you would like. The next one I'm going to end up doing is doing the mouse pad and that mouse pad is 9.75 by 8.25 we'll put the size in as well and go ahead and hit OK and then the final one we'll set up is going to be the mug in for the mug as well. And now if we scroll through the available page sizes and you scroll down, you'll see that we now have a mouse pad, mug, and t-shirt. For me to go ahead and load these individual ones, I'll just double click into it. It'll bring up the, the place page size slot window. What it's asking for is where on the x and y coordinates of this gray box, the top being the x, side being the white corners, we want to put it in. At this point in time, if we just go ahead and hit OK, it'll automatically default it to the top left corner. What I can do then is click on it, it'll highlight in the red, and then I'm able to move it wherever I want onto the template. In this case, I'm going to move it over to the right, but since we're doing diet sublimation, I want to have a little bit of paper around the edges for it. So I'll set it in right there. Now I'll go to 
the mug, double click on that, go ahead and OK. Again, it defaults to the right. We're just going to grab it, pick it, and move it over. And then we're going to do the same for the mouse pad. Now notice that all of these boxes have where it says auto listed on them. Auto having it listed will be set for imposition. But since we're doing step and repeat and we want to be able to know which graphic is going in each one of these boxes, we need to click on the box and we'll start with the t-shirt. We're going to come down here and go and label it field number one. Notice that the auto up at the top changes to number one. We'll do the same for the mug. And with the mug, we'll turn around and label it number two. And finally, the mouse pad. We're going to turn around and label it number three. Once we have that set, we're set for it. We'll go up, file, and go to save. It has now saved our signature. So now we can close out of this window. Now we need to load the signature file into the RIP. We'll go up to the top, click on Utilities, go over to Imposition, and go to Load Signature. When it comes up, first thing we want to do is we want to select the correct printer. We're using the Epson 7800, so we'll click on that. And then you'll notice that our 7800 shirt, mug, mouse pad signature's right there. We'll click on that, hit OK. Now our signature is loaded in the RIP, and it's waiting for files to be sent to it. 